Today we're going to be talking about solving systems of linear equations by graphing. So how you solve a system of linear inequalities is you graph both of the lines like you would, like you normally would, and remember dashed is when you're going to have a less than or greater than sign. And then your answer is any point in the region where the shades overlap. So for this blue line, we shade it above. For the red line, we shade it below. All I want you guys to do is shade the region. So that would be all of our possible answers. And there's an infinite amount of solutions because what you're shading is you're shading all of your possible solutions. Okay, solve the system of equations by graphing. The first one, we put down our y-intercept. And then okay so we have one line and you might make a little note to yourself I'm going to be shading greater than so I'm going to be shading above for that line we have another one y is less than negative x plus 2, so I have plus 2, a negative slope, and make sure you realize that one is going to be dashed, so put that in right away. Okay, so for the red line, we're shading below because we're less than. So above the blue line, but below the red line is everything in here. And all you have to do to make sure that you shaded the correct area is test one point in that area. Zero, zero is in that area. If I test the point zero, zero, it shouldn't, it should work. I apologize. It should work in both equations. So is zero greater than or equal to two? times 0 minus 3, or 0 greater than or equal to negative 3. Yes, that works. 0 less than negative 0 plus 2. 0 is less than positive 2. Yes. So we knew that we shaded the correct area. OK, solving the system by graphing. Now we have an absolute value graph. So it's bringing in some of the graphs that we've been talking about. Okay. We have to manipulate that equation. Keep in mind that when you had a coefficient in front of the x, you have to factor that out so that you get the right point where your vertex is. Okay. So plus 3 means I'm left 3 and down 4. Now, graph the absolute value. Remember that 2 gives us the slopes of the sides. With 1 being positive and 1 being negative. Absolute values, remember, they look like a V. Now, for that equation, we're going to be shading above. So keep that in mind. Now, the bottom equation, we have to manipulate that one. We have negative 2y greater than x plus 2. We have to divide by negative 2. Remember, when we multiply or divide by a negative, you have to switch that inequality sign. So negative 1, my slope is up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Make sure you guys give us a dashed line. So for our absolute value, we were shading above. For the green, we're shading below. So it's this little triangle in here that, it, that we are going to have as all of our possible solutions.
Our next example. Notice how these slopes are the same. So we're going to have parallel lines. Um, I'm going to graph the top one. So if I go up one, I'm going to go up three, but left four. Up three, left four. Down three, right four. Down three, right four. So there is that one that actually should be a solid line. So for this green one, we're going to be shading greater than, so we're going to be shading above that. So keep that in mind. Now the bottom one, the bottom equation, minus 2 is my y-intercept. So I'm just plotting out some points. And again, a solid line. Now for the purple one, we're shading below. So for the purple one, we shade below. But for the green, we shaded above. Did we have any shadings that overlapped? So there is no solution to this equation because our shadings didn't overlap at all. Our next one, find the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these equations. So the first one. Let's solve this for y. So I'm going to add the y over and add the 1 over. So I have 2x plus 1 greater than or equal to y. Or we can look at it like that. Go up 2 over 1. Now make sure you plot out these Okay, so there's one of ours. Now this equation, solving that for y, we get y less than or equal to negative x plus 4, because I subtract the x over. So I go up to 4. I have a negative x, so sloping negative. And if you're super exact, hopefully you're going to see your intersection points. I already see one. Now our last equation right here, we have x plus 4y greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to solve for y. Divide by 4. Okay, so we have our y-intercept is the same. But I divided both terms by 4. Oh, did you guys catch my mistake? I caught my mistake. If I divide every term by 4, my y-intercept isn't 4, it's 1. So my y-intercept is 1, but I have a negative 1 fourth slope. So I'm going to go up 4, right, up 1, left, down 1.
Okay, so for our red line, we shade below. For the blue line, we're shading below, and the green line, we're shading above. So that's this region here. But I want the coordinates of the vertices. One of them is right there. So that is 1, 3. The next one is that point right there. That's 0, 1. And our last one is 4, 0. Our next example is an application, and it's important that you guys understand the applications because in the next section we're going to be doing a lot more of these types of applications. So Mr. and Mrs. Rodriguez are driving across the country with their two children. They plan on driving a maximum of 12 hours each day. Mr. Rodriguez can drive at least five hours, but no more than eight, and Mrs. Rodriguez can drive between three and six. Write and graph a system of inequalities that represents our information. So let's make X, Mr. Rodriguez, the amount of hours that he drives, Y is going to be Mrs. Rodriguez's hours that she drives. Okay, so. They plan on driving a maximum of 12 hours each day. So x plus y less than or equal to 12. Mr. Rodriguez can drive at least 5 hours, but no more than 8. We made Mr. Rodriguez x, so x is going to be between 5 and 8. And then Mrs. Rodriguez can drive between 3 and 6. And Mrs. Rodriguez is y. Okay, so now let's graph this. Our first equation solving for y. Okay, so I'm going to go by 1's here, but I'm going to label every 5. Okay, so so my y-intercept for the for the red equation is positive 12. My slope is negative, so we're going to end up down there. So that's one, and we're shading below for that one. Now x between five and eight. Basically, you're graphing the lines x equals 5 and x equals 8, and you're going to shade everything in between them. So we have 5 and 8, and it's going to be everything in between. For y equals between 3 and 6, you have y equals 3, and y equals 6 being your two lines, y equals 3. that line right there, y equals 6, that line right there. Okay, so now keep in mind, we're between 3 and 6, between 5 and 8, and below our red line. So it's all of these different possibilities that we have for our solution. Okay, there are your two lesson questions. Both of them are multiple choice. And please make sure they are submitted on time.